Hey there, brothers and sisters. Tim here, your guide for today's 10 minute morning rope flow practice. I've got my golden teacher ready. Hopefully you've got your rope and we'll get started. To begin, we're just gonna do some overhand. Just gently rolling the rope. We've just been in bed maybe for the night. I mean, maybe you're doing this in the evening, but you know, if you're doing it in the morning, with like me, you've been in bed, you've been in the fetal position and we're just gonna lean into that a little bit. So curving forward, kind of compressing into the stomach, opening up the back, just gently rocking, feeling the weight shift side to side. Let the shoulders really roll. Try to be really relaxed in the body and just to feel what that rope wants to guide you to do. And we might do some matadors, so just two spins on each side, so you get a little rest on that leg, and one leg, then the other. Again, letting the shoulders roll, rotating at the spine, letting the weight shift. And now we can just gently walking out the feet, rising up and down. And what we can do as well, start to raise the hands up, lift the shoulders high, get into the upper part of the spine. And if you want a little back bend, look up to the ceiling or the sky. <sighs> Now we'll put a little bit of a split stance on it and just have the weight rocking back and forth. And you can be doing overhand, you can be doing matador right now, it doesn't really matter, we're just doing some sort of overhand pattern. Weight shifting back and forth, getting into the feet and you can start to bend the knees a little bit. Boom. Just gently getting into the knees. You could do a little kind of Cossack rock here. Swap legs, back and forth, rotating with the spine, shifting the weight foot to foot. And you can just now just start to step through and lift the leg. It's okay to lose your balance. It's okay to hit yourself with the rope. There's no Perfect here, it's a rope flow practice, not a rope flow perfect. I stole that one from yoga, as many of you might have heard that before. <laughs> Swap back to that original leg, and just gonna raise up. Raising on the toes, and you can go deep into that leg. Okay, all right, that's it for overhand for now. Now we're gonna swap around to some underhand. Now this is a bit more, uplifting we've been in this compressed fetal position now we're gonna start to open up and stand proud for the day so a bit of a back bend again shifting that weight side to side rocking side to side looking up at the sky really rolling the shoulders we really want these shoulders moving like two wheels in opposite time And you can reach forward as well. We can still go a bit fetal with this and reach forward with the shoulders. Feel the stretch in that lower back as we do. Just gently, we're not overholding one position. It's just in and out of it. The body likes this. It's re representing walking, the locomotive pattern. Just exploring with the shoulders. Now, start to bob with the knees and rise with the rope. And we can get lower, a bit deeper, just gently. We're not having to get into some deep squat here. You can let the heels lift and we can come up now, rising on the feet. And just like we did before, go into a staggered stance. I'm really getting deep and down into that corner. A 
we can go to some matador here. So we've got some time. Gently rolling. Swap feet. And again, it doesn't matter if you do a matador or underhand, just shifting the weight back and forth. We're turning with that split stance. We've got, it makes a little more rotation, have to come in from the spine. Bring in the hands, if you can do this, neutral the feet again. Bring the hands as close to the chest as you can. And let's just explore this simple underhand figure of eight. And let's see, let's explore the spine. So let's um, make it happen. Think about the figure of eight, the root of the figure of eight coming from the lower back. And let's just explore that. So if I lower my hands a bit, what muscles does that involve? What, what muscles does that start to stir when I'm thinking about the figure of eight coming from my lower back. Now let's just go up the spine a bit. Let's go to the mid back. Now we'll make the mid, middle of the back kind of just above the bottom of the ribs at the back there. That's the central point of which this figure of eight is emanating from now. What muscles does that stir up? Just allow shoulders to, you know, really pull the shoulders back as well thinking good posture and then we're going to go up the spine even more to the kind of top of the spine can you imagine the figure of eight coming from there and if you want we can go matador so you've got time to think about it and feel it really oh yeah that's i can use what muscles are getting involved there muscles on our back we're so used to mirrors and what we can see that we're not so connected mind-muscle connection to our back as I think we would be if we lived without mirrors where we'd be maybe we'd be more intrinsically focused but because of mirrors we can feel and see everything here but this is just allowing us to connect with the back of our spines and especially that upper back right now we're going to go into dragon roll hopefully you've got dragon roll if not or if you mess up as you go that's fine so for me, I'm going left to right. You can copy me if you want or not, or mirror me, whatever you want. I'm just opening up into drag and roll. So arms nice and straight. Flick the wrist back. Again, opening up to the sky. And just really allowing the body to rock and sway. Can you be like a giant starfish and just lock the legs, lock the arms, and just be on the toes. Now, feel this that weight shift as you rock side to side. Now I'm gonna swap drag and roll the opposite way. Same thing again. Nice big open starfish, shifting on the toes. Opening up. And then what we're gonna do from here, this propeller at the front, I'm standing square on, propellers coming out my belly button, and I'm just gonna to turn to overhand this way, and then I'm gonna come through the middle and turn to underhand this way. And we're just gonna rotate through that a few times. So one side, coming round, and you can, do, you can hang out in one side if you want. So I can hang out in underhand and really get deep into that, and I can hang out in overhand. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go overhand, rise up on the foot, underhand, low. Overhand, rise up on the foot, underhand, low. One more, rise up on the foot, low. I'm going to swap sides with that. So now I'm going overhand to my left, rise up on the foot, underhand, low. Rise up on the foot, underhand, low. Rise up, underhand low. And you can just get, you know, we can explore the hips here if you want. This gentle motion through these positions, we're not just statically, the body doesn't always want to be static. Exploring these positions, we can go the other way just to keep it balanced on the body. Opening up the hips for the day. Explore with the ankles, the hips, the knees. Again, come back into drag and roll.
gently winding down now. And we'll just go through, rotate, 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 rotate. And we're just gonna go the other way to keep it balanced. Last few reps through. So you should be nice, nice and warm now. I think we're ready to get on with the day. I'm Tim, if you wanna learn more from me, check out wearetherope.com. We've got a eight week to rope flow course where we go through a bit more complex moves than this. If we do another one of these morning flows, we might add in some more uh, advanced movements so you could check that out. Other than that, hope you join me in the next video. Godspeed. Mm -hmm.